Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've done something that I have never done before. I'm not saying I've never done it and filmed it, I've physically never done it before. I've never done a cut crease before this video. So, this is showing you that it is possible to do without a million years of practice doing it. Quite simple, it looks a little bit trickier but it's just in the brushes mainly that are going to help you. You can get any type of eyeshadow you want, just follow kind of the colour schemes if you're looking for this particular look, try to get the same kind of colours I've used. But other than that, use anything you've got it in your makeup kit. Um, this is just kind of how I wanted to do it today. I just had um, a very close friend of mine do one and I was like, oh my god, you look so good. So then I just asked her how she did it and then I watched like two tutorials on it and I was like, oh, I can give this a go. So that's why I filmed it and this was the first time I did it. If you are wanting to learn how I've done my eyes today, please keep watching this video. Remember to subscribe guys if you enjoy watching my videos because I'll be posting at least once or twice a week during the new year. Um, any more questions you have for me, please drop them down below and I will reply to you as quick as I possibly can. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys soon. Bye! First thing I'm going to do is just start with a base, so I'm going to use Paley Paint Bot by MAC, which is what I normally use when doing any type of eyeshadow as like an eyeshadow base, and that's just going to hold the product on and make all the eyeshadows stand out that little bit more. So in my Lime Crime Beams palette, I'm starting with Creation, which is that burnt orange colour in the top corner. I'm going to do that quite um, lightly um, in the top of the crease area. So try not to go too much in the actual crease of the eye. I want to go that little bit higher, but I'm using it really sparingly because it is such a pigmented colour. For this step, I'm using the Morphe M200 brush, which is just a fluffy um, eyeshadow blender because you don't want any harsh lines when it comes to any of your socket colours. So fully blend that away. For the next one I want to do, I want to map out where I want the crease darkness to be in that socket area. So I'm taking the Morphe M151, which is a really um, fine brush but it's still fluffy so it's not going to do it too defined where it's going to be hard for me to blend away. But it is that little bit firmer so I can create a quiet dominant line. I'm sticking with the same palette but then I'm going to go in just this brown colour here and it's called Divine. And all you're doing is figuring out where you want your crease to be, your cut crease and then you're going to lightly start to pencil it in. Next I'm going to take the Morphe M213 which is a very very small firm brush and I'm going to use Icon which is this colour here. Um, it looks quite dark what I'm seeing through the viewfinder but it's just like a really dark brown. So take that colour and then I'm going to really deepen here on that crease. I'm holding my brush more upward, that way I don't drag the colour onto where I want the light colour to be and it's going to be more blending up. Then once I've got that darkness on, I go back to the Divine, which is a soft brown colour on the same brush. Just blend that top bit. Getting my M200 with Creation, that burnt orange colour. Once you've done those parts, you've done all your socket work, you're going to take any type of base, one that's going to help the next pigment stay on. So I'm using Too Faced Glitter Glue. So I'm taking it on just my Morphe M224, which is a flat concealer brush. And I'm really going to take my time and make it really precise where I want that pigment to sit. Next for this look I'm going to use Naked Pigment by MAC and I'm just using a really firm fine brush for that. Now 
I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how my base is gonna go today. I'm like peeling all along my forehead. And anyone who knows, when you peel, makeup does not stick right. And yeah, I'm just using my Morphe, all the numbers have gone off it. I think it's Morphe M, there's a three, no, M554. Nah, I don't know what brush it is, but they've got it in a couple of different types, but it's just that firm, um, dense brush. You can use it as powder or you can use it for your foundation. I like it as a foundation brush. So that's what I'm going to use, and then I'm going to use Studio Fix um, Foundation by MAC in NC25. What I'm going to do next is just... Conceal under my eyes, so I'm going to use Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC in NC30. <laughs> and I'm just going to use the Morphe G31 from the Gunmetal range, which is just that firm synthetic hairbrush. Had it all underneath. See, so yeah, that's a little bit lighter than my foundation, so that's going to highlight under that eye area and make me look more awake. Then all you're going to do is set with powder. Just using my Napoleon Purtis powder in G4 Golden Sand, which is going to warm up my face a little bit because my shoulders are quite sun-kissed and glowy, but my face is not. And the brush I'm going to use is just the Gunmetal Range G.O. brush by Morphe, which is a massive, fluffy powder brush. Let's get my hair off it. And I'm just setting around the face with that. Underneath my eyes, I'm going to go in with the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. I'm going to use the middle um, top shade there, which is the banana powder, and I'm going to use that underneath my eye area to bake. And I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. I just want like an angled um, synthetic brush with your brow comb perfect now that I finally have my eyebrows done I can do cheeks so I'm going to use my Kat Von D palette again and I'm going to use this middle one first and I'm going to darken a little bit with that outer one. Um, starting with the middle one first because it's a bit lighter and you can kind of build that colour and warm up the face and then to really define my contour I'm going to go in with that N one. Going to use the Morphe MB35 brush. Awesome, and then I'm going to move on to doing the eyeshadow colours underneath and then we're going to do eyeliner. So, taking the really small brush that we use, Define, which is the lighter brown shade, and I'm going to run that underneath the eye. Now that the eyeliner is done, take that really, really tiny brush with your darkest colour, so Icon um, from the Beans palette if you're using that, or just any really dark brown that you have, and you're going to push that as close as you can to the bottom lashes. Now I'm just going to take a matte black eyeshadow, so I'm going to use out of my matte shadow, their black, which is carbon I'm pretty positive it is and all I'm going to do is press that just in the outer bit where the cut crease is throw on some lashes these are number 523 from cream or cream creamy Ooh, I don't even know mascara then lashes Now 
Now, while my eyes are drying, I'm going to move on to blush and highlight. For blush, I'm going to use my Inglot blushes. I'm just going to use this one up here, which is a really, really soft, like, pinky, but with a tinge of, like, brown through it. It's number 33 by Inglot. And I'm just using a Morphe M141 brush. Then for a highlight, I'm going to use my Ofra You Do You Highlight. I use it on a really small fluffy brush. This is just one from the Christmas collection from Napoleon Curtis a couple years ago. Um, but any small brush that's fluffy will do and you're just putting it along. Taking a little bit down the nose. Cupid's bow. Then I'm going to take a small brush, the Morphe M151. I'm just going to do um, under my brow as well. It's really lightly though, I don't want to put too much. I love how I say really lightly, I just pack it on. So I'm going to use two colours on the lips. I'm going to use Wicked by Lime Crime in the outer corners, and then I'm going to use the Stilla just in Fiery on the inner, so it's going to be more of an ombre effect. So guys, this is the final look. If you guys enjoyed watching this video and you feel like you're learning from me or you enjoy watching my videos and learning some tips and tricks, please subscribe to my channel. If you're wanting to see anything else I've done in the past, please click on my other um, videos and give them a thumbs up if you enjoy watching them. Same with this one. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I do see everyone. Sometimes I just don't get time to um, write back or then I forget and then I haven't logged in on my phone and it's just chaotic. But I do appreciate everyone that is sending me positive um, feedback and liking my um, videos, subscribing, telling their friends. It's amazing. That's it for me for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!